you're not getting sales or grabbing such a horrible conversion rate. Why? Because you're just overpricing your products. You have to think about it like this. The top companies in the world, for example, the top retailers in the world, Home Depot, Lowe's, go to their earning reports. It's public. They're making on average two to five percent. It's a volume game. I'll be honest with you. Your first product getting started in e-commerce, it may or may not be a winner. 99% of the time, it may not be a winner. And how are you going to get to that winner? It's a numbers game. Guess how much money it costs for you to test a product? Zero. It costs zero dollars. You can buy the product on, let's say, Amazon or wherever you're sourcing it from AliExpress. If it doesn't work, you just return it and buy another product, make videos, see if it works. I'm curious, is there any particular thing when it comes to TikTok shop, since I know that you're pushing that a bit, uh, that you think people need to know in order to succeed as a seller there? Are, like, are there any loopholes that you know of or, or is it just, what does that process look like in your opinion to succeed on TikTok shop? You know, so a lot of people who are getting started on TikTok shop, I would say there are two things that is going to make or break you. So many people say, your tactics on how you make the video matter, your edits matter. And I'll be honest with you, it is your product. Have a product that sells itself. Because so many people will be like, oh, this is a winning product. I was seeing this lady who's talking about, oh, this coat hanger. I'm like, this, are you are you gonna just pull out your credit card? Need, I need that coat hanger. No. So you can post a gazillion videos. You can do so many different things, but if people are not gonna wanna pull out their credit card and want to buy right now, it makes no sense. So finding a product that just evokes people's emotions where they're like, wow, I need to buy this product. It's not about your pricing. It's not about how you make your videos. It's just finding that product that sells itself is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that I'll say as far as finding success on TikTok shop. And then the second thing as far as TikTok shop is pricing. So many people getting started in the e-commerce game, even on Amazon, on Shopify, people want to make 50, 60, 100% profit margins. Like it makes no sense. Get those first sales, even if it is 5% profit margin, even if it is 10%. I have so many students in our private Discord community who'll be like, Collins, I'm getting no sales. I'm like, oh, what product it is? It's a jar opener. They're buying it for $5, selling it for 30. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> this makes no sense. And I feel like so many people getting started in e-commerce, you're not getting sales or you're having such a horrible conversion rate. Why? Because you're just overpricing your products. You have to think about it like this. The top companies in the world, for example, the top retailers in the world, Home Depot, Lowe's, Go to their earning reports. It's public. They're making on average. Real quick, if you appreciate these clips and interviews that I put forward for you, then please make sure you use our Shopify link in the description to start your own Shopify business with an exclusive deal. And also make sure you check out at kimmylab.com for additional resources, free tools, guides, and just a lot of interesting stuff that will help your journey. Even some software deals that are exclusive to akimilab.com. So make sure you do that and continue watching the video. Two to 5%. It's a volume game. It's about how can I sell this again and again and again and again? So how do you sell it again and again? Lowering your price so that more people are inclined to pulling out their credit card to purchasing it. So those are the two tips that I'll give for everyone getting started in the TikTok shop. Yeah, that's huge. I think a lot of people don't really think about like the logic behind what they're selling. So you're totally right. Like a good offer can literally be just good pricing. Uh, but then another thing that you mentioned that I, I'm a huge believer in is that the product is everything because, you know, there's a lot of debate always on, on you know, Twitter, for example, about like, oh, the, the video is, is what makes the product sell or, you know, like the winning ad is everything. Um, but to be honest, I've always thought and I've experienced this. Some people work so hard to make a product work. And it's, it's just never going to work because nobody cares about the product. And then on the other hand, you got a guy that's like made the worst ad of all time, but it's printing because it's a product that everybody wants. Like the demand is there. Um, so I think that's where the consistency really plays in. Like just testing products sometimes. Yeah. You know, your first 10 products may just be an uphill battle, but I'm always 
at least personally looking into opportunities that are not an uphill battle that are a downhill battle where I'm like, you know, I'm surfing this trend. Like, so it's easy. Um, I think if it's not easy, something's, you know, your product may not be the right product. Mm -hmm. You know, hundred percent. I agree because there's so many people in our community who expect that first product to be a winner. I'll be honest with you, your first product getting started in e-commerce, it may or may not be a winner. 99% of the time, it may not be a winner. And how are you going to get to that winner? It's a numbers game. It might be 100 products. It might be 200 products. Just go out there and test. And what I love about getting started on TikTok shop, guess how much money it costs for you to test a product? Zero. It costs zero dollars. You can buy the product on, let's say, Amazon or wherever you're sourcing it from, AliExpress. If it doesn't work, you just return it and buy another product make videos see if it works that's why i highly advocate for starting your business super duper lean because so many people are going out there starting their tiktok shop ordering products from alibaba they're ordering products in bulk to get them shipped here slow down slow down if you can go on websites like temu amazon order even 10 units to your house and just get started with 10 products that is the way to go test it out make that first sale first prove the model first because i see so many people saying oh e-commerce is a scam e-commerce is a scam because they're going to alibaba ordering a ten thousand dollar minimum purchase order and i'm like what are you doing you've never i had a few friends of mine who bought these t-shirts never have sold a t-shirt before in their lives like oh we're going to become millionaires i'm like you've never done this before one get the proven concept first and then go out there and purchase products in bulk because that is killing so many people in the game right now I love that. And I think even when you study the biggest brands like Facebook or even Apple, like they never struggled with like pushing the product. It was like the opposite. They just created a product that everybody wanted. So it just caught fire like crazy. Um, so totally true. I think too many people get emotionally attached to a product or emotionally attached to something and they, they just like w need to see it work. But that's just not how it works sometimes. Not to say that it's not possible to make something work. Obviously it is, but again, it depends on what you want. I'm definitely looking for the easy wins. Um, so what are, uh, what, what's some last words that you want to say and where can people find you and your community? That's important. Mm -hmm. You know, some last words, this is for all of the younger entrepreneurs out there. I want to tell you this one thing. You have to think about e-commerce or just business as a whole, as a race. We are all racing against each other. I'm racing against you. We're all fighting for that, let's say, first spot position, gold medal in Olympics right now in Paris. So what are you going to do to win that race? Are you going to spend more time testing products? Are you going to test different ad sets? Are you going to you, it's all about what are you doing before the match starts? Because once you launch that product and it fails, you went to the race without preparing, without taking your supplements, without running an extra, without doing those workouts that it takes to launch a successful brand. So do the workouts. Think about it as you're a lifter. You have to practice your lifts before you go to that national championship. And that is how you'll become successful in e-commerce. Put in the reps. I agree. Mm -hmm. And then where can people find you and your community? Yeah, no, so 100%. So we have a completely free community with a completely free mini course on school. You can follow me on Instagram. It's going to be Colin, C-O-L-L-I-N-S underscore O-M-W-E-R-I. Click the link in my bio, a completely free school community. And if everyone wants additional help, mentorship as far as getting started selling products on Amazon or TikTok shop, we offer mentorship services where I can sit on calls one-on-one -on -one with you showing you what are you doing wrong because there's some people out there that yes you can watch all the youtube videos in the world but you just need that extra push and that extra look hey is this working is this not working or what am i doing wrong and i'll dm me i'd love to help any of you guys get started amazing man amazing well i'm excited to you know continue this relationship hopefully in the future we can you know maybe you can come in my community too and i'll go into yours maybe provide some exchange of value in there but yeah, man, I appreciate your time and thanks for the call. 100%. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Awesome, bro. Talk soon. Bye-bye.